Welcome guys to another episode of Doings Corner. On today's episode, we're going to be talking about one of the biggest industries we have in Nigeria, and I'm speaking about the music industry. But before we start, I need to mention that this conversation is not to bash anybody or to talk down on anybody's talent. I believe, we believe that every artist is talented and brilliant in their own way, and they're all equally good. These are just our personal opinions. So, of course, I'm seated today with the female Dana Rega. And because I don't know so much about the music industry, Dana is going to be championing this conversation today. So <laughs> I'll just be putting my two cents. Yeah. So, yeah. Daniel, what's up? What's happening? When you talk about the music industry as a whole, I think there are a lot of things that come into play. And mm. I feel like when we talk about music industry, Nigeria music industry is kind of different from that of the American music industry. I think that people kind of like forget these things. So they feel like when you're talking about music industry as a whole, you're talking about globally. Mm. We have to take it from one sex to the next one. And in Nigeria music industry, I don't think we are kind of progressing the way I I don't believe we're progressing. You don't think we're progressing? No, I feel like I feel like we have the global recognition, yeah, but our music is declining. I don't agree. I agree. I agree. Are you will agree when I try to make some point? Because if you go back to the like the early 2010s, right? For example, now back in the day, you can just you can people use, literally use their life to like put out freestyles, put out music. I mean, we have things like um, Timaya talking about plantain boy, but I am still that plantain, blah, blah, blah. But now this will no longer use what they have experienced in life to put out music. We just put out But But do you really need to use your personal experience to make good music? Your music is supposed to be relatable. You're supposed to be writing with emotions. You're supposed to be writing things that people can relate with. It's not every time about, you, maybe you carry one woman, and, yes, the last and week. We have, and just we have to, artists that write about like things you can relate to. I think somebody like, like Johnny who? Drew, I like yeah, but that's the but that is the issue. Johnny Drew doesn't get the kind of recognition I think he deserves because people kind mm -hmm. of like tap into whack music nowadays. I don't want to say any artist is whack, but <laughs> there's a kind of like um, put out singles, you know, burn them out, put out other right. singles. You no, know, people are no longer focusing on what can I put out out there that in the next five to ten years these things can still become like like making timeless music timeless music you understand even when the blue said i make out timeless music i think i've only really two music in that album which is um i think in the garden i don't know the in the garden yeah the video has a song called in the garden i think so in the garden da, 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 da. i cannot sing the song uh, but which other one um something like um away those are two songs i think i can relate with because those are two songs i feel like he actually like try to put in one or two things into the music that you can actually like play it and replay it again then coming back to Artists that are popping nowadays, we have some very, very um, whack music. Oh my goodness. We have, I don't no, think no, no, we, we have, say no, we have, we have whack Is music. Is it really whack? We, it's whack. No, no, what it's I whack think. Because, it's okay. whack because, it's whack because these are songs that are just TikTok vibes. Mm. These are songs that, there are songs that you cannot listen, you cannot, like, you cannot let someone else close to you, like, listen. They actually now name your five top music. There's some music you can do not say, this is my, this is my um, top three, because you feel like people may judge you based on those music. There are music that when you listen to this music, like, back in the days, like, you have artists like, um, um, YJ, for example, things, things like, uh, I'm so inspired. You have people like, um, Tiwasabi, I'll keep referencing her because she's, like, a literal icon. Yeah. Nowadays, she's kind of like... We have Two-Face. You forgot Two-Face. No, I'm, I'm not talking about mix. the OGs, OGs. Those ones are grounded OGs. I'm talking about more like the new generation artists in a way. Mm. Not, a new generation no, but artists. she But I will kind of, like, group up because she actually popped... She popped back in the day. Yeah. But she has this kind of, like... Um, she can land any kind of freestyle. There are people who they don't write music, but they mm. can just kind of like land um, music, can deliver punchlines, they can deliver um, flows. Mm. That is where the video comes in. The video doesn't make great music per se in terms of quality. Mm -hmm. But the video, no, that is supposed to The video doesn't make great music, you understand? But he can sell a beat. Hmm. Yes, okay, sir. I can agree with you on that. Cause we see that on the, on the other hand, feels like someone that can just, I, I don't know, I feel like he doesn't put in the, the emotion. I don't feel like he goes to the studio. He feels, Whiskey sings like someone that um, is reading um, music on paper. You understand? Because sometimes I feel like, how would you tell me you're writing a song and you go to the studio and you write like, inna, 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 like, like <laughs> no, no, but that's the truth. But that's the truth. This is that where Bonaboy comes in. Bonaboy, I feel like he takes time to like, pen down his music in a way. Mm. I don't know if he has ghostwriters, but if you can just take a glass of, of wine and just find a way to sing, ah, check me, glass of wine, and it sells, you get. No, you know what I think it is? Flow. You know what I think it is? I think in Nigeria, the thing is this, you have to understand your audience. In Nigeria, we like beats. No. I don't think we pay that much attention to lyrics no 
we you, like no, to you, you can't, buy. No, you, you can't. Can no, you can't say we, this is the thing. Artists nowadays give um, the audience what they think they need. You understand? Mm. But that's not what they need. Like I think if they don't actually put out conscious music or um, people like Whiskey, for example, they have the fan base. They have the they have the relevance mm. now. If they actually put out this music, their fans will have to adjust to that kind of music. They have mm. uh, the audience and the power and the clouds like diverse. Like talk to someone like Beyonce, for example. Now she can move from one music genre to another because she has the audience. Right. You understand? But I feel like these people are so comfortable; they don't want to take that risk. They feel hmm. like let me just talk about woman, talk about cars. We are tired of it. I because that's tired what, of it. But that's, that's what you, we want to hear. That's what many people want to hear. Many people don't really care about hearing anything inspiration now. How many inspirational because that music because, have you seen that has like that is why I saw music is declining. Nigerian music is declining, yeah. you understand? There was a time when when you hear um people sell songs, it is because of oh I, I love what this person is putting out there. Nowadays you just need a name and you just Put out this name and oh, the video features this person, whiskey features this person, but features this person, and boom, people just trend the music I, for like one I week. I think the the one thing I can agree with you on that you've mentioned is um, concerning Burner Boy. Of the three of them, for me, he's not my favorite, like in terms of personality. No, definitely but least. No, he's the right person. He's not the least to me. To me, he's actually among the three. He's actually kind of like the least. I think like he's a great artist, right? I'm I think he's talented. I think he's the he's most talented, talented yeah. actually of the three of them. I, I won't say I, I think he no, makes I won't, the best I won't, music. No, I won't say the word talented because I feel like he is um um more of like a conscious, like I said before. He's he's conscious of what he puts out there. Mm -hmm. But I won't say like talented because talented when you say talented is different that kind of I feel like if David actually wants to like grow his songwriting skills, I don't know if he writes his own music like there are rumors that people write his music for him, this and that. But like I said he can land a bit and he can sell a bit. He can actually take his song and make it like this is my song. Mm -hmm. Like for example Twist for example, despite his song being useless to me, I feel like this what song, song is whack. Twist where but that's not David that's Kiss Daniel. Right? No that's what I'm saying like he can you sell think it's a bit. Whack? It doesn't make any sense to me, practically. I like that again. song. I think it's a great song. No, like, like Why I said. Why don't you like it? I don't, the lyrics doesn't make any sense. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's just I about beat. Like I said, David can sell. David can take a pen, make a beat about it, about Larry Barry and to sell. You understand? Mm -hmm. He knows how to like bring this effigy. It's something Whiskey don't know how to do. Whiskey don't know how to like bring this. Whiskey don't know how to switch. I don't know that. I don't know that Whiskey doesn't know how to do. I think what David, what sells Davido's music, because one thing I've realized about Davido's music is when I hear it for the first time, I'm like, oh, okay. But then for some reason, I keep hearing it, keep hearing. So over time, when you keep hearing Davido's music, it just starts sounding interesting. But there are people. I don't know. Who, there are people. I think who it's Davido's no. personality that I, sells his music more. Well, if, for if, me, if you think so, that's what if I you think. think so. I think if you think so, but I still feel like. Um, he can jump on any beat, regardless who writes his song for him. That's besides mm -hmm. the point. Bonaboy, on the other hand, he kind of like I feel like he kind of like puts his life experiences into his music. You understand? But sometimes okay. he overdoes it. And yeah, I like in Breakfast, for example. Now. Yeah. Yeah. Which Breakfast? The one is. Now everybody go to Breakfast. Oh, that one is sample, Sha. Is a sample. Yeah, he sampled Tony Braxton. I remember when I first saw that thing, people were like, "What are you saying?" Da, 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 da. What do you like, mean by what does it mean? Sample song? like someone has sang something like that. That was before. Tony Braxton's original song. Like he he kind of lifted Tony Braxton's part. That um, yeah yeah yeah. I don't I, I, I cannot sing the song fully, but I can't remember his song is sample. But I know I referenced it before. So Bonaboy Boy tribes more. I think Bonaboy Boy tribes more on sampling. Hmm. Most of his biggest hit to me are samples. I don't know. I'm not. His, I'm not a, like a, a big, big fan of him. Hmm. But like I said, he's a conscious artist, so he's more conscious of what he puts out there. And I feel like Whiskey and David can actually push their pen if they want to. They don't even have to write the song themselves. They can just meet ghostwriters and give me this song. But I need to have like a good music out hmm. there. And people, I think they are kind of relaxed because their fans for them, their fans themselves don't. I don't think they themselves. I don't think David is relaxed though. He's relaxed at all. If there's one artist that I I keep saying, if there's one thing I admire about David. He's so hardworking. He's not. I'm not he talking, hasn't. No, he hasn't I'm not talking about. Chewed, no, so. you can say maybe Whiskey has relaxed. No, I, I am don't not think David has no, relaxed. No, Whiskey right from time. I think this is. It's kind of flow. He's not someone that you see him in the spotlight every time. But he, when he just drop one like that, his um, I don't know, call it work, as um EP or something. That well, is found one? something too. I that last know. um EP he dropped. I think it's an EP. I don't know the song. S two volume two or something. I can't. I, I'm, not, I'm not sure of it. But um, whiskey not someone. I think whiskey is more of like drop one take a break mm. drop one the video is more like I need to like keep being in people's faces. Yeah. You understand? That is how he stays. Um, kind of relevant, relevant. In the industry, which is a good thing for him anyway. But the thing yeah. is that he, he's not growing as an artist. 
because it's not it's not evolving. Can it get bigger than it already is? I'm talking about. I'm not talking, I don't I'm know not talking that about. It can grow bigger. Everyone can grow bigger. Look can at, Beyonce grow bigger than she is currently? She's tapping into the country music now. She's she broke various mm. records by releasing that and Texas Hold'em, which I'm already tired of listening to every single day. <laughs> because the song doesn't actually scream country, but that one, that one is there. But you see people kind of like reinventing themselves. People right. try to like tap into different things. You feel like, okay, I've said so, I've sung. They've those music, I would say like 70% of the music is, or 80 or 90 is strictly about women, I love my baby, um, <laughs> I have money. Um, this one, my boy. That one, my boy. But you said he should sing about his life experience. So that's his life experience. He maybe. also has things he can sing about. He can channel this, some of these controversies and address them full on. In the music. Yes, people in do a it. Song. People do it. Beyonce made a full album about her husband. Fair. Addressing the Fair. cheating issues. You, you don't have to like put out your whole life out there. But well, you know that Davido do. doesn't make like the type of music Beyonce makes. So Beyonce, with the kind of music she makes, she can afford to address things. Davido makes like danceable music. I can also want to address, address with danceable music. How? I mean, people dance to um, what is her song she sang? Um, People dance to um, what name of this song? Um, sorry, I'm sorry. I Me, mean, I didn't even know it was about Jay Z before. <laughs> I was liking the song. You understand? You can actually make a song about you know just reference one or two things there. Yeah. You get. You know one but, thing. I, okay, sorry. That yeah. Short. But I feel like I said before, fans are not ready for those kind of things because that they are used to. Because if let me tell you the simple truth, if Nigerian music industry was the music industry of before, there are some artists that will not be popping right now. Like. Music. It's not about. I'm not saying they are work artists. I'm saying the kind of crap work they put out these days are literally crap, and that is the truth. But the thing is, nobody goes to the studio thinking, you know what? Let me put out crap. So they must think the music is good enough because for them to because they so are, to just call it because crap they are is... selling based on name collabs, and um, I think streaming era is also helping them. I mm. think of like Payola, things like um, oh, I know so person. Let me collab with this person. I know so radio station. Let me give them to play because things people have called out even. At, fellow artists have called out this in several times. So when I mm. give you so, um, when I give you a certain amount of money, you try to like give me more airplay. You understand? And when things keep repeating themselves, like when you right. keep hearing, like for example, let's say this Twitter now, for example, it's your jam. I know that. <laughs> when you keep listening to Twitter forever, keep listening. At the point you get used to it, you understand? Right. Even if you don't like yeah. it, you may not even like it. So yeah. You may not have it on your phone, but yeah. you're still getting used to it. You understand? So with that. We continuous play. People like, okay, let me just vibe to the song. You go to every wedding, they play the song. You know, yeah, you they, just that's not a song. Okay, let's say for example, this um I don't know call name because I feel like this is not like we don't want to troll anybody yeah. show anybody, you understand? Yeah. But at the same time, we know certain things. There are certain artists that have grown to this level this day because of the kind of connection they have. Not because they are actually uh. Okay, I'm actually music. trying to think of somebody that has grown because of connection. You know them now. There are people you there are some there are some people you work with now in the industry. You don't even have to you just just wake up in the morning and just take Ibo, smoke Ibo, enter <laughs> studio, you understand, enter studio, and uh, producer, give me one beat, you put beat, you understand, mm. and this come to your brain, maybe you carry a shower yesterday, I don't... You, you reference a shower, you talk, you just, maybe work on the chorus, one or two, send the sample to one big musician, after you go like jump on this collab, if they rain, you go, at this mm. it go be hit though, the person will jump, you know, you check how much you go pay, five million, you jump in, you sing it, the whole song will be talking about Ibo woman, Nash, Finish. Mm. I carry you go Badagri. I carry you go France. <laughs> and before I know it, they'll say it's number one on Apple Music. You'll be surprised. What is this? And people song like Johnny Drew, for example, that you know these yeah. are songs that you can literally play for years to come. Those ones will be struggling to come up top. I'm there. really waiting for a time in this country where you know we actually start paying attention to like soul music, music that speaks to the soul. That's why I love Ira Star. You see, for me, huh? and I'm telling you, I love Ira Star so much. You better not be try to shit on Ira Star. No, why would I shit on her? She's too good. She's not be too good. She would say women no go pay she shit. And, and Is I that why you like her? No, no, no. That's I like her music. I like her music. I also I think she's she's like which... vocally sound. I, I don't no, no, think that there are no, many has, artists that, has... have vo- that have vocal range. You see Simi. You see Ira Star. I think Tiwa has good vocal range too. I think literally, um, if you're if you're talking about vocal range in this era, I will not even count Anya Star as the top five in newbies. You call people like um, Fiv. You call people like Quimadi. You call people like um, that one that sang um, Chapter on the Wall. I don't care. Da, 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 da. I don't know. You know the girl, but maybe you don't know her by name. Yeah. Maybe. So Anya Star, yeah, she has her own. I won't say she's vocally um, great. You understand? Mm. Come to music now. I think about four or five of our songs are, uh, which I may mean, never see before. Um, 
Now this guy money I never see. Uh, I carry comma. Those, like, like I know but that her, her lyrics make sense. You know, commas for example. Listen, make she's sense. repeating herself. We know that you've seen money. We know that you're record. You you are you are assigned to don't just record label. Definitely you're gonna have money. We know that you have seen maybe you you your bag. You have struggling for your bag. We know those things. Tell us how you use your tomato and vegetable all those things you sold. Put it in a song. Let us see. Let people that are still saying that vegetable they can relate. Let us use your story as an inspiration. You can put like um, um, Taylor Swift. That one, that one only makes music for ex lovers. But at least you can actually <laughs> tap from it. You understand? We have people like um, what is her name now? Um, what is the name of this? Uh, Why are we not talking about Thames? I think. I'm sorry, I forgot to mention Thames. I think she sings great too. I think she has. No, very she's good great. Outreach. She's great. She's great. But I think Thames fan base is more like a brother bro i don't think thames mm. actually make music for nigerians like i feel like she's not like i say like that i'm saying people like Thames for enough now she's not concerned about let me just give you pubakasi mm. or let me just um tell people how i just bought gucci bag yesterday mm. things like things that, those things like, things that nigerians will like they all like uh, yeah just shake nash gidi gidi gidi, mm. and the album i've dropped mm. so i think she's making music more of listen to me yeah this is what i'm about to say i agree tap into my energy yeah and as for example she's very comfortable like i keep saying if 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 we're being honest i don't see how tyler of all people should be using water to win grammy Water was a great song for only fans. That's what people. I don't agree. For who? Only fans because you cannot. What do you mean only fans? I'm not an only fans, and I love that song. I don't agree. I don't. What agree. is the song about? She's not. Make me swear. No, no, what is that about? Uh, 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 <laughs> for for that doing um, I, I blockers and max. That is it's not about. That song that. is not inspirational. I, I've anything. listened to that song before, and I was not doing blockers and max. No, no, but like, you know this song is about. It's a great song. It's, about, it's not. Is 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 it prayerful I, song? I actually no. It doesn't. A song doesn't. A music doesn't have to be like. That song is about at the squashing. That is it. But is it a nice song? It is not Whether a, it's for people that are squashing, is it nice? There are so many love songs eh, that you don't have. To, you don't have to spare it out that this song is for bedroom. I just felt like maybe she woke up, maybe she was feeling in a moment. I don't know. She just like, just, like, like people don't actually put in thought into all these things. I don't know. How can you I say that song Grammy should? Of, of That's why people. I didn't understand why where people were shitting on it and saying, "Oh, she shouldn't have won." I think every other person, like me, I was rooting for Ira Star because I love Ira Star. Which like, song is what, what was Ira Star zone was? Um, I think Rush. Yes. No, that one is under under. No, it was one. Rush. Is there Rush? Yeah, but that one I don't think that one is more. Is not that one's not. Is not That's a great song. Are you trying to say that song is not I'm not saying this song is nice. not a great song, but that, those, are, those are not the kind of songs that should be making it to the Grammys. I think Please that, tell me one Ira Star song that you think should have made it to the Grammys instead of Rush. The only song I think Ira Star, I don't even, I, I don't follow her anyways. I don't, like I listen to her music some of, some of the time, but I think the only song she have really that kind of like make a little bit sense to me was that, um, what is that song they not even helped her to push? Um, Bloody Samaritan. Uh-huh. Bye killer. Bloody bye, Samaritan. Bye, 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 bye. Bye. And then they look at your face, shit. Yeah. Uh, that is me. that is the only song she have released to date to me. That makes sense. For real? That one they were saying. So you don't like my baby. You don't like commerce. You don't like um what other IRS are songs? Um, stability. Stability. That one is not song. I told you before doing the last. I don't mean to. I'm gonna make you. Sh- are you joking? You don't like that song? Am I smiling? <laughs> God, no, are you fun. sure you don't have a problem with Ira Star? Why would I have a problem with Anya Star? I would Ira Star. I be Anya Star. You always say Anya Star. Why Ira Star? Ira Star. She should go with a simpler name. Ira Star. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> hey, I don't have I don't have issues. With, I don't have issues with anybody in the record. With the, mm. with the, I don't have issues with anybody in the industry. You understand? But the thing is that I feel like that people that deserve more credit. I can list out like who? I can list out five p five to a service songs. Right? That these are. Reasonable standout songs, but but see what gets her credit though. She gets her flowers. I'm not talking about she credit. Gets I'm talking about. I'm day. talking about when you talk about music. Tiwa can you can bring out different songs for Tiwa. I agree. And I agree. Star is only one. She's following one line. I, it's I, either about telling you how she how great she is as, a, as an actress as an um, artist, or she's trying to tell you how much money she has made, or how she has connection to make more money. Nothing there. Look at Simi for example. Simi can. She, she made a song about her baby do to get do to get those are kind of that was like oh, tap, into, me, tap into your tap into your artistry take things to the next level mm. you get if Anastasia doesn't have someone like Don Jazzy backing her up I don't think she would have gone this far hmm. personally no I have to give credit to Don Jazzy or Maven in general maybe yeah, not Maven, just yeah. Don Jazzy I'll give credit to them of course they, they know their onions they've been in business for a long time but I don't I don't agree with that honestly because she's not the only artist that they have 
they have other artists that have not made it as big. Do you understand? She's using, she's and they're still sex appeal to, to. She's also using sex appeal. No, no, she is. No, no, no. no I, when I, I, when say, I mean, when I, I mean sex agree. appeal, no. When I mean sex appeal, mm. there are some people that feel like if, okay, if I start drops a song now, if you go to the comment section, most people actually. I think I have seen like few comments commenting one um you look pretty blah, yes blah, blah, I, because, and that's sex normal appeal no it's not i don't think if, if it's it does sex not, appeal. no I'm, no she's she has, beautiful she has, she's a beautiful girl there's no one that's ugly she's definitely a, She's very beautiful, actually. Very. Don't is just talk like she's just okay, beautiful. Okay, who is who is not beautiful? I'm not. I'm not going to mention anybody. No, no. Let me say it this way, right? The thing is, is there's, there's something we need to be honest about, right? When people find you physically appealing, when people enjoy looking at you, they just kind of pay more attention to you. That's just something. What, what, that's in what any that, way that you want to look I'm at it, saying. I don't think that, it's sex appeal. I she think she's not just using... a beautiful girl. So that helps. I'm not taking that she away. She can be a beautiful girl and still dress decently, obviously. She's dressing her age. She's 21. 21? Yeah, she's a young girl. What do you expect her to wear? With one yard of skirt and half yard of bra. It doesn't uh, matter. Top. That's her style. And I love what she's done with her style. because with her style. Yes, because when you look at Ira Star, yeah. like, I've... Her music is not the only thing that sells her. Her fashion, she can relate to Gen Z. Which fashion? Yes, Gen Z people, they, you don't, they don't put on... When she, like, was selling vegetable and, when she was selling vegetable and orange, and I think fruit, sorry. Mm. What else she was dressing, she was saying? I don't know, I didn't know her then. But as an artist, you need to find your niche. You need to find what works for you, whether it is... Like now, everybody has a signature look. That's part of what... That's what I'm saying. Branding people know, people know her, mostly for her... Mini skates. That's a lie. I'm telling you now. No. Should I say lie? Go to our comment they section. They know her mostly for. They, no, that's Go not. Go to true. our comment. This is not argument. Go to our comment section. I they, think people they know, people no. recognize and are star. Okay, if you bring. Okay, look. If, if they bring out like a music now, no one will say, ah, this person look like an Anastas. Um, this, this person sound like an Anastas. But when you bring out some kind of ah, an Anastas, this is on a one year, though. They will tag an Anastas to eat. <sighs> Do I you don't, see? Well, I don't see it. For Bonner me, Boy, for they, example, now, right? Mm -hmm. They will say, uh, this person, this is how Bonner Boy makes music. Then when something happens, maybe like somebody match somebody, or there's one kind of <laughs> shoe you see. That, this is not Bonner, this is Bonner Boy can rock <laughs> this kind of shoe. shoe. You get. So they know Bonner Boy for maybe his all these his outrageous shoes mm. and his vocals. People know Anastar more for her mini skates. And I don't know, her music still sells. I don't think so. Before me, I ever saw what Ira Star looked like. I heard the music first and I love the music then first. Then you now saw the Before mini skirt and, and you now said And I still level. love the mini skirt. I think she looks amazing. I think she's stunning. I'm not saying she's not stunning. She's stunning and I love her outfits. Like I cannot imagine Ira in any other type of outfit. Because you've not because, seen any other I'm not saying, listen. You because that's see. what suits her brand. She's a 21 year old Gen Z girl that is making waves. She's like black and a Montana. As is, far is as I'm concerned. Only, what, what do you expect Anna Montana to wear? Who? Long skirts. She's like I'm she's, not saying she's dressed like Miriam Maka. What I'm saying is that she can what, actually, what else she, can she, she can actually dress. I'm not saying every time you have to go on um one yard material, you understand? You can <laughs> actually dress decently. You can switch up your fashion. Okay. You get like just like American music now, everyone now is going for show me nyash and show me boobs and mm. twig. That's what we're going for now. You understand? Even when the music you will see a song that makes sense and you'll come, you'll start saying put that in diggy 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 on screen. Mm. You're like, how does this talking relate to the video? Because sex sells, that is the budget. And she I believe she's milking it. You get as she should. As she should. If you say so, Sha. So she's an artist. Industry. You know what? We need to <laughs> we're gonna come back this one. We need to go on a quick break and we'll be back very soon. Welcome back from the break. We're still on this matter of music industry and i'm still seated with daniel rega so i wanted to ask about somebody i don't want us to just talk about like a few people yeah what do you think about charlie poppy's music honestly i don't see him as an artist for now hmm. for now i don't see him as an artist i feel like he's someone that just jumped into the music industry for quick cash grab you understand because i hmm. don't i've not seen him release a single music i personally can say this, this is a song you understand it's not about every time um things like um Putomania, Putomania. I think that is mm. his signature B. Putomania. I don't even know what even got about him anyways. That is his personal business. But I feel like he has not actually like made his song. Because let's be honest, most of his songs look like song of people that like, you know, yeah. smoke weed and maybe do your I, I think I think runs. he makes music for a certain demographic of people. Which kind of people? You already mentioned. No, I want you to mention uh, it. No, I don't. <laughs> No, honestly, no, no, that's, I don't, the thing. that's the thing. I don't you, you want get? to. I don't want to because I cannot say because I don't really listen to Charlie Poppy. 
Thank so you. I can't, to be honest, that's just the honest truth. And that's yeah. not because he's not a great artist. I don't, I, it's just not my kind of music. He has potential, you understand? He has, yeah. he has a very great voice. He has a good signature mm. sound. Just like uh, Odumod, for example. They have, people, these are people that when, when you hear them, you don't even need to like, I don't know. Person. No, that's not true. For me, For if you, I listen to um, one of the Mundo songs, I won't know it's the one. I will know because he will, I will know. reference one of this. Is um, he has one kind of like vibe to it. Mm. Now is the lyrics part that is not. Maybe I've not paid as much attention to it. If I if I hear Shadi Poppy anywhere, I would guess. This if is, I hear Shadi Poppy, I would know it because of the Puerto Mania. I would know every guy's voice person. anywhere. You don't know them. No. You see, because I focus on mini skirts. But anyway, <laughs> but anyway. No, not but, mini skirts. Let me thing. tell you one person I actually love that yeah. I feel like I just want him to be there for forever. He oh. just makes great music, oh. Ashake. I think Ashake deserves so much flowers, so much recognition. I he, don't know. He will get there. He's he will amazing. get there if, if he starts um, learning how to make music as an artist and not just allowing people to detect what he how do you know they are dictating for him? Obviously, because he's not. He's look. Look at him. He has been doing. He, <laughs> not hospitable. He has been doing some very bad things of late. Like, like in terms of like trolling. Would I say trolling or kind of like being insensitive towards the Christian community? You don't make music and kind of slam a what, religion. What what music? As, when there was like, one. He what did, example? The first one he did. I am sure of is this. Um, I don't know this song. Something bandana. When he was in church, I don't know whether he sampled good or something. Mm. Church. I can't remember what he did. Like, but he, that was kind of like a slap. But the thing is, I don't think it's just Ashake. I think because normally um, Christians, are, Christians are Christians are more. We are it, calmer. Omori is the one who directed the video. Yes, mm. If we're going to be coming for someone like Davido for like, I remember when Davido posted that thing that uh, Muslim people were. were yeah, but you know that you know that the the. Re- Christianity and Islam, you know, the Islam people, they're a lot more, they're more strict than Christians. It doesn't so mean Ashaka is a Muslim. I think he's a Muslim. I don't know. I don't. Whether you're a Muslim or a Christian, you learn to respect that. Some things you don't just do. I don't know if, you're, if he was doing it for clout or something, but there are things you don't just do. But he might not be the one that would write out the entire plan for his music video. Do you know that? But obviously, he, sh- he should have a say. Maybe when I'm you biased see, when you I see, like When him. you see people getting outraged for doing something the, f- the first time, you understand? He has to understand that his audience covers everybody. Mm. You get. You cannot. And for example, I may mean, like the song, for example, like, oh, um, we get money, 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 money. I may see the video and I'm like, no, I can't, I can't vibe with it. The same thing on my lady, you understand? Using them, um, Holy Ghost. I think people don't kind of pay attention to certain things. But we that are, me, I'm a Christian. I don't know about you. Mm. Me, I'm a Christian. <laughs> I'm, I'm a, a Christian, Christian now. It's not by answering Christian. I'm a Christian. So there's certain <laughs> things that I don't find funny. You understand? Mm. And in you know, as much as Ken makes good music, and I kind of like. He does make good music. He makes good music. He, he makes good, not great. Good music. I'll say good. Who music. makes great music to you? Kiss Daniel. Kiss Daniel makes good music. Kiss, Kiss Daniel, Daniel does not no. have one bad song, as far as I'm Kiss concerned. Kiss doesn't have one bad song. He doesn't have he doesn't one make bad great song. music. So who makes great he music? He makes great. He has great music. You understand? Like things like Mama, things like um, Wuju, things like. Um, oh, I don't know the title of this one. But of recent, I think he's just like the same thing. Drop music. Hop on the beat, say one or two crap, and you're out. Oh wow! Okay, tell me one person that you would say this person makes great music. Now or before? Before and now. Before, that's many people can call before now. What year? Before, let me answer for myself first. Me, somebody that I thought used to make great music before was Whiskey. You see that time mm. of Ojo Elegba, that time of um, I think Fa- he has. Only, I, think he has like, I thought that was great like, music. He has like I think three or four hit songs for me. A three or four great music. I don't know if I, got, if I, if I would call them hit. Um, I love my baby. I love that song. Mm. That was one of the songs I used to vibe with those days. You understand? I love um, Ojuela is his biggest and best song to date. Yeah. I, think I, he, I don't know if it's the biggest and best, but it's a great song. It's a great song. I feel like song. something you can yeah. like, this is my life before. And yeah. This is where, this is I, where I, am I am now. now. Um, I'll say Bakramo, yes. That was good. Um, this, there was one song I was Halacha really Boy. Good. No, that does not make any sense to me. Hey, it's a, it's a it's a good song, but it doesn't. I don't think I'll count um, as music. I okay, can, so that so we can agree that Whiskey has is made great music. So yeah. who do you think is making great music now? You can agree. I didn't agree. You you said. Oh, so you, you don't no, agree no, that no, he made great he music. He makes good music. You said that was your example. Okay, okay, that's my uh-huh, Okay, that's let me now say who I think is making great uh-huh. music now. I'm very proud of the type of music Adekunle Does... Gold is giving Thank us now. Thank you. Now, now Adekunle Gold no, for me is artist. doing everything yes, that he's supposed I, that's to do, an artist. and I'm so happy that that's he's getting artist. recognition. But he's not getting enough recognition. He's not getting enough. I think he deserves a lot more. But him and Simi, I think Simi also deserves a lot more recognition. I love Simi. Yeah, but I would like if Simi start collabing more with female artists, don't you think? But she does. 
she collabed with this girl, um, Candy Blakes. Um, this Who's that one? Candy Blakes, this girl, um, um, Mama. Or, oh God, I forgot that. I forgot the name of the you song. You see, I made collab with people that are in the spotlight, like people like Tiwasabi, people like Yemi Alade, people like um, who else would I call now? You know, there are big people in the industry. Mm. Anybody I thought that you no, know, but I like I like that she's collabing with people that maybe don't have that much audience yet. Because you know, it's very easy for That's you to jump. That's not the point. That she not collab with 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 a male singer that have much audience. Who like who? Who has she sang with? Simi. Simi. Simi have collabed with a lot of male singers. Eh, I don't Many know. of them. I just really recently said listening to Simi songs, and I'm like, why was I not into this girl's songs? And I think she makes amazing, amazing, she makes amazing, amazing, music amazing music with her husband. She and Adi Kunle Gold, absolutely. Um, yeah. Someone I would say make great music back in the day. Back in, I won't say, I, won't, I don't know about now. Okay, back in that now, I will still go with someone like um, MI. I will still go with someone like Ice Prince. I will still go with someone like Vector. There are many of them. Mm. I will still go with someone like um, David Doe. He yeah. has, he has good, some good music. Mm. Bonner Boy, he made great music. What before. about more hits then? Don't you think they were? I feel they were making great music to me. Back I don't know any group that would beat more hits as no, far as I'm concerned. They, are, they were amazing. Definitely. I feel like if they're still singing till now, they would have still been amazing. Yeah, but but they might have switched up over. Yeah, I feel like maybe they would have started making a different type of music, maybe, but I still think they would have still been doing really well. Someone I think I, can I, make great music if he actually put in the work is David Doe. Mm, I think he makes great music already. He makes, he makes I average, think he tries. Average best. I think he tries. I have to give the average at best. I think he tries. I just, I just feel like not average, not average. No, average at best. When I say average at best, I don't say I'm not saying his music is bad. You understand? Oh. But I feel like people need to listen to something else. I think when I hear the video, I, I think I can kind of predict what he wants to say in the music. Mm. I can like, okay, I think he's going to talk about maybe how God has blessed him with a woman, or how, <laughs> or how he flew from. Germany to Italy but you know there are people that maybe they don't want to put out everything about uh, the fact that they are artists and they are in the spotlight does not mean they want to put out everything about their life then you don't, you don't, then you don't know what it means about making music your music you don't need to your, make no, your music, music about your be personal life for it no, to be a great it's supposed song. to be a part of your experience check listen to what you, if you make, do your research about Afrobeat do your research about um R and B mm. these things were in fact music in general these things were like Part of like a movement, you understand? These are things people back in the pool you think about the street. Like I said, someone like um, Timaya think about plantain. You understand? People can make this kind of music. People sing sing about um, screen saver. Should we go make screen saver? You can understand mm. this is from you right. know? people sing um, this um downfall driver. That things even Kelewa Kelewa while I was banned. <laughs> you can understand that these are stories that goes along <laughs> with it. But now there's right. uh, now there's everyone is doing the same thing, putting out the same kind of work. You understand? Mm. Sometimes you'll be like, who sang this song? Oh, nice singer. I know nice singer more. It sounds mm-hmm. like this old person. They can't, they can't land on the line. Is there, get, is there anybody that you think that gets too much credit? Too many much? of them. Like, I, that I like these newbies. Are. Many of them have not even gotten to the kind of. I think people are using Spotify to like, oh, this is a guy. He has the numbers. She has the numbers. They don't deserve this credit. I mean, they deserve to get applause for like being there. Mm-hmm. But. One of the things Nigerian people do that I really, really, really hate is when maybe someone sells out something or when someone like outperforms someone and it's happening, ah, oh, this is the queen of Afrobeat, this one, have, this one, have, uh, and Thames is doing this and this one, see you defend it, and Tiwa cannot do it, blah, 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 blah. Those people, they are, they are not supposed to get that kind of recognition because these people literally paved the way for them. Right. Do you understand? You can say, yeah, so Anyasa, for example, she's doing something good, she's dead. She's doing something great. <laughs> Your what? She's doing something good, she's. <laughs> Climbing up the ladder, Jeez. but you can come and say, oh, um, Anya Star is um, the best rapper in the industry. She's the next generation of talent. She's the this. I'm like, keep She is, oh, she's that girl is going places, and I think she's going to be around for a long time. I'm not saying she's not going places. Mm-hmm. She will go places definitely. She's going to places now. Yes, because of, of her music. <laughs> because of I don't know because she's Anya Star. And, and the label backing her will not dispute the fact that there's a big label backing her. Yes, there's a big label backing her, but that big label is also backing up other people. And you need to give credit as much as I'll say it again. I'm giving credit to Don Jazzy and Maven, but you cannot give an entire an entire artist credit to just the label. The artist has to also be good for them to make waves. She's good on her own. There's so many I'm people I can saying... mention under that same label. Why are they not getting as much? Remember what happened with she's, Jeanette? She's good. Like I, like I, I said, I've said this thing before. I'm going to say it again. Give an um, instance of um, Ricardo Banks and um, what is his name? Um, this one hit guy. Who's one hit guy for Christ's sake? I that. know him with just I'm one. so curious to know who this person um, is. Corredo. 
Corey de Bello. Corey de Bello. What's the one hit? Corey, I don't get a lot of God win. Oh. You understand? For example, now oh I, felt goodness, like, I felt Daniel. like Mavis pushed Corey de instead of Ricardo. But I felt like Mavis pushed Corey de more. I because, don't think that because, we because, didn't choose to p- push one artist. No, they no, no, I don't no, think so. No, they will I, push everybody. It just depends on I, who I, I, people I, I are have paying listened, attention I have to. So many artists speak about record label giving parity to all, some artists than some artists. I've seen many people complain about it. Mm-hmm. Not only in Nigeria. I think that only makes sense if you have two artists, for example, and there's this one that you know once you put your song out, there people are vibing to it. They're yeah. generating revenue for you. Because and then there's this one that you just keep spending money on spending, and that people are not really. It's just normal for you. Yeah, but, but yeah, because at the end but, of the but, day, but, they are a business. They want to make money. They want like, to generate an income without any kind of bias. Ricardo makes better music than Corey than Corey Day. Ricardo is more hmm. like a songwriter. Corey Day is more like I put out this song, it blew. God don't do one for me. God will. You understand? For example, so I think that people who that's why most of uh, I give I, I give yeah. credit to record labels more than the artists themselves. So I do not assign to record labels because mm. independent artists don't have it easy. Yeah, you it's not easy. They will it's literally fling easy. out your work. No one cares. Mm. And which is why that sometimes you see um, doing award shows, you see some people you are like, how does something get nomination in the first place? You're not supposed mm. to be there. You understand? But you will recognize only one label is packing everything. I feel, do you know, I just remembered something. I feel so bad. There's somebody that we've overlooked that I oh. think is making great music too. Oh, Rema. Re- at least you can't, you want to talk down on Rema too. Even no, though I think that Rema's I'm audience. Uh, I'm just saying, this is a, this is a I, even though I feel like Rema's audience, to be honest, I don't think is in Nigeria completely. I think no, no. I think it makes great music for people outside. This is more the, for people outside I, I, I Nigeria. I don't understand what you mean by great music. I, you, what I is the definition of great music? Something that's okay. Okay, I Something know why you want numbers. to say. I know why you want to say. Maybe it's not great because no, 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 no. He's, he's not very. His music is not coherent. Like I'm not gonna listen to him when I'm. I don't hear his words. Not even I don't hear. Words. No, what, I don't hear his what, lyrics. Your, what's it? Give me. I just think he's, he's vibe. When the vibe give is there. Give me an example of great music. I should mention a song that is great. One song that is great music for you. Hmm. One song that is great for me. This Rema, for example, Comas. Irista. Okay, that means Rema's uh, okay, Rema's no, 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 on no, no. DND. DND is a I'm great not, song. I'm not I'm not familiar with some, I'm familiar with Commerce, for example. Commerce, mm-hmm. right? Okay, that is great music for you. Yeah. Okay, um now let's take it back to something like um if you ask me by Omar on me, if what would you call that kind of song? Okay, okay. No, I'm okay, because, because okay, after, okay. after good we have great. True. We have true. average, good, and great. Um, so I would I'm, say something I'm like I'm not gonna lie. That type like of commerce, song, I can. Commerce is average at best. Average, I don't agree. I think that song that you mentioned from Yemi Aladi, I think it's a good song, but it's no, not no, the no, kind of song. Oh, Omaomi. It's I'll be by Omaomi. Sorry, yeah. I mix them up. I don't know why both of them, but I think it's a good song. But it's maybe because it's not the kind of song I would listen to. Great like music, that. That music that can start. Because I want time. to vibe. This um uh, um Habla Samaritan. Is anybody still playing it? Vibe killer, blood. Yes. I don't mean in your phone, no. Not I in mean, my phone. I still hear it. Where? On social media. Which social media? In our parties. Which parties? At the cl- clubs. You go to clubs. I still play. I, I listen to the radio now. I never hear for radio. No, this. Oh, of course, every music has like its time. It has a time frame where. Maybe it's, but that song did very well no, when it, it was did doing well. It did very Thanks well. Thanks to streaming era. Thanks. Thanks to record label. record label, obviously it's there because I remember when that song came out, how people pushed that song. Yeah, you get they pushed this song. I think there was a time they were even didn't give it or something. So I would not dispute the fact that record label plays a good role. It does. It's just, it's it just does. like when um, Whiskey makes a post about a song or the video makes a post about the song. These things. Do we have other record labels aside maybe in Nigeria? We have Chocolate City. Who is that? Um, I think that Mi I and. Am okay. I? That is where um, Black Bonnets belongs. That is where um, I don't know the people are there, but I know Rec- mm. Chocolate City is there. We have um, I don't know if Plutomena is a record label, but <laughs> I don't know. We have I think we have a few. I don't I, even know some of the logos I see. I, I think Davido has his own record. Label, yes, um, DMW, BWM. DMW. Are you, are you, are you it's not WM. It's DMW. DMW. Oh, they say 30 BGs. DMW. DMW. Yeah. I think they have one great. Um, Artist there, I don't know how. Meokun, okay, I forgot Meokun. Meokun is also one good artist that I like. Or oh, you don't like? I like Meokun. I don't know. I, I'm not. I'm, I don't. I've not. I don't know. I won't say. You I'm don't not. listen to songs like that. If it doesn't play on radio, I don't take my phone and just stream his music. Sorry, I, I mean, like just turn on and make a review. I like his. Songs. The only person I think I, maybe, I, I maybe kind of like listen to right now it's um, okay. I know Peruzzi's music. I know that uh, Musubu. I really like that song. I think 
based on instrumental What's content. What song is that? The one he featured the um, Odumo. That that was his first. That was Odumo's first reasonable hit to me. Anyways, but mm-hmm. I feel like he kind of like said something that's relatable and it was on team and you understand now um one person i think the video should push very well that's his record label is this girl moria i don't know her name their names are leah no leah is not on the record does he have another girl apart from leah is it not just leah i don't know this uh moria something this i don't know her name i don't know it's it's long it starts from emo and i don't know i think so so that is the thing but like i was saying record label now i think most people are relying heavily on streams Mm. you understand streams Back in the day, people were relying more on um, I want my song to sell because of me, the artist. Right. When you listen to a certain person, you can say, oh, yes, I fuck with your music because of certain things. Mm-hmm. You understand? Like, I, I, I keep saying, people like um, Udo Maintain. You no, know, there, there were songs those yeah, days. They, there, were, they, so there was competition. Yeah. The talent was high. Nowadays, you can just be as low as this. And you have money or you have influence. And your song will just go like this. Right. You understand? Right. So it makes no sense. I think I have two more questions before we wrap this up. Yeah. My first question is this. What song and what artist do you think deserves a Grammy? Not a nomination. The actual award. You what, mean today? Yes, today. Right now. What song? The song might not be a new song. What there song? There are many of them. And what artist? M.I. deserves a Grammy. Um, Vector deserves a Grammy. Adekulego deserves a Grammy. Simi deserves a Grammy. Tiwa deserves a Grammy. Um... Who else? In this new generation artist. I think Burna Boy deserves has Burna Boy won? He won. I, he won I think Burna Boy deserves a Grammy. Yeah, he deserves he deserves I would a like to see I even like Whiskey. To... I think Whiskey that would Joel deserves a Grammy. So if I've been honest, that I know Grammy is shit song. these days. And Grammy is not song. something. I think David Doe deserves a Grammy. Too. Yeah, he deserves I think for he's so hard working. He deserves for Grammy is not supposed to be by hard working. And I think he Grammy is supposed good to music be no, too. Grammy is supposed to be by Are you putting out good music? But if you look at the categories of Grammys, it's not about are you are you are you having numbers no which is why you see some people that have not even sold anything these days you can just you just need to have the numbers people like um i spice mm. for example this one i don't know what, what she's thinking and she raps now so raps what she you rap. think you are the shit <laughs> you're not able to part Bra. that was not music you understand but that's the thing when you have big names backing you up you win grammys mm. you get if we're talking about grammys i think we see would have won one Yes, yes, back. I think the video would have won one, probably maybe by with Aye or with I don't know, maybe Femme or something. I like Femme. Mm-hmm. I think um, Mi would have won. Mi would have packed Grammys. Two Face would have packed Grammys. Yeah, you get. that African Queen. Thank you. That song. But nowadays, look at the song that are winning Grammys. Mm-hmm. Make me sweat. Your song. It's a good song. Make me water. I like it. I you see, you see, I vibrate now <laughs> because it's a song of Obanje. Hey, Obanji. God of Heaven. That's the thing. But okay. another thing we have to address in this music industry is, the, I think tribalism plays a lot of, lot of, lot of, lot of. Mm, in what role. sense? I think, um, I think females should be getting more recognition. I think females don't get more recognition. Probably from the. I don't want to bring it. Fino and it. flavor. Even flavor, flavor. Thank you. Thank flavor you. makes good, flavor, very, flavor, very, very flavor good have music. Grammy. Flavor is really good, but but I don't think it's about. I don't think it's about this country. The, I think the thing is, is if you sing no. yes, if you sing strictly Yoruba songs or strictly Igbo songs, only Yoruba people can vibe to Yoruba songs. Thank only you. Igbo. No, I, can't no, vibe. I, I think I think the, I can't I think sing flavor songs Yoruba as much as I. In a way, I feel like. I feel like, but because even when come when you come to movies, for example. Um, I don't know what they call them, Asaba Wood, Asaba, mm. Asaba Production. Do you understand? You see their movies all the time in <laughs> um, streaming platforms, but they don't get that recognition they deserve when it comes to like African Magic Plus. Do you understand? When it comes, if you if you check re- um, nominations and award, mm-hmm. you feel like these people are kind of snubbed, even when they make good music. You get? Right. These people need to like kind of collab with. Yoruba, so without that, yeah, but, but exactly, but, but the they are big names themselves, they are supposed to get that recognition. I feel that no, I feel like as an artist, you cannot just no. restrict yourself to making music for just a particular tribe but, because but, then but, only but, that but tribe. Some people, some people sing with only Yoruba and, and, they're, and they're still selling out. No, no, it's not about singing with Yoruba, it's about singing Yoruba songs alone. I feel like somebody like Olamide, I think Olamide is great. I'm not gonna, I'm not trying to it's downplay. Not, it's not about I think he's the only, he's the only, I think he's the great, only, but goat, I think he would have been he's bigger. the only potential. And that's goat the last question have. I wanted to he's ask. He's the only him. potential good I think we have from his sets. The others are still upcoming goes to me. I will keep saying it. They are still like they have not done enough to give them that good What status. makes somebody a goat to you? You have to you you literally have to pave way for others. When I mean pave, I don't mean then if that's the case, then Don Jazzy is the goat. No, I'm not I'm talking about I'm not Don Jazzy is goated in the music industry. 
let's not mistake that he's a go to when it comes to producing record label there's no competition when i i mean artist does that okay it's, a, it's an, an artist, artist anyway but it's not like and it's not yeah it's not for record label. yeah yeah allow me for example he has he has more hits than i think probably than we see than the video that's no competition he has championed more artists than these two people combined he mm. most people tap into his music like people kind of like take his style of music to create deals that's why everyone wants to be like oh this is the next um, king of street and people come come out and defend the day. no one comes out and be like this is the next video people mm. come out and say oh this person is singing like whiskey he right. has that vibe right i see where you're, I so see where you're coming whiskey from. is more like a goat in the making to me anyways forget the grammys forget all those awards they win by i know you and i know you whiskey is more like a goat in the making don um um, um david is more like a goat in the making don't um um olami day he's gutted hmm. you get fair. most of the people popping now thanks to olami day fair back fair. in the day i can agree with till that now i can agree with olami day being gutted i can agree but with it that. doesn't mean that whiskey and then they've done no good in your own will they know they, they are i'm still, sure even burner boy even still, burner boy all of them they're all good yeah, they're but, all yeah, good yeah, in their Bonner own boy is Gotta in his own way anyways he's gotta in his own way anyways i feel like he but the one thing that he gets the recognition he deserves mm. in a way i okay. feel like he gets it davido don't get the recognition he deserves davido davido gets it now what, what more no, recognition can davido possibly get I, you see people taking shots at him every time mm. it's not about this is not about we being sentimental or whatever people can like kind of like come for him unnecessary i think people come for him for his personality more than his music i don't think it's about his music i think it's his personality you know what i don't want us to start talking about because if we start talking about personality we're going to offend a lot of people so we're going to have to wrap like, it up which no i don't let's let's not even go okay. there but i don't think people come for him for his music i think it's more about what you think the, but let me just ask you one quick question do you think the music industry can survive another decade with this kind of crap that putting out these days. It's not crap. Don't call it crap because this crap. is sweat. This is hard work. I don't think it's crap. You know, I, you, I think yes, you, you can. Survive. You can spend. Have you watched? There's a movie. There's some movies you've watched, right? And you be like, "Ha, this film doesn't just make sense at all." Don't lie. Yes, of course. Don't you think they, they're putting money to produce those movies? Yeah, but it doesn't mean it's crap. It's not good for me, or I'm not enjoying it. Does not but mean there are not people crap. that. Yes, to me, exactly. To me it's okay, crap. to you, fair, fair. And so you are you, entitled so, to your opinion. So definitely valid fair. opinion. So do you think that the kind of crap they put out these days? the mid music like the music that you know that when you listen to it once maybe unless it's being like me that sometimes if it's, if it's not being played on radio you will not see me use my, my one mb that i managed to, to search me <laughs> second, understand that's something that i feel like oh who sing them ah nice sing them okay good but some music you just hear like ah who sing them where would you be titled you have to it very mm. so even if you don't like the artist right like for example queen maddie for example i didn't even, i don't I know, know that know. person how you not gonna know him you see i mean you know you are not you are not you know what the thing is daniel i feel like we need a part two on this episode Definitely. we have to we're running out of time we have to wrap this up you know i'm going to wrap this up by saying this every artist like i said before is great in their own you know it's good in realm. the are good in their own way they are good and they are great in they their own they're talented they're hard working this is not to shit on anybody everybody's doing their best they're hard working we wish hard everybody the best hard work, hard work do not equate talent and talent do not equate success they are all talented and hard working to the best now of their try, capacities that is the right word. so anywho we'll see you guys on the next episode we hope that you enjoyed this episode and we wish you all the best bye, bye.